We're celebrating art and we're celebrating film, as the title says. So basically, it's supporting art and creative people. And, you know, it's an important place for Los Angeles and art in general. So I'm very happy to be part of it. Tell me about tonight's honor. Oh, George Lucas. I don't need any introductions for him. And uh, Mark Bradford. I mean, he's master and he's our own Los Angeles artist. So we're just extremely excited. On right here, Mark. Well, at first you kind of hesitate, and the first thing you, the first thing that pops in your head is, uh, uh no way, uh, uh, and then you're like, no, it's really a great honor, and you do it, because you know that the money's going to go to supporting programming at LACMA, and education, and young people can come to LACMA, and maybe someone can like discover something and be the next film director or the next artist. His life not just his films, are a testament to his artistry. He gives and he gives and he gives in the way that we artists are called to do, but not just in his storytelling, in his passion for changing the narrative for all of us, for changing the world. As you've heard, he's bringing an innovative new learning experience in, to LA through the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art in Exposition Park. And people there will experience the power of visual storytelling in a more inclusive way than ever before, in a, in a wider range of media than ever before. George, you have perfected the art form, you have elevated the art form, you have created a legacy for the creation of more of the art form. You are a hero to so many, and you have built the groundwork for more heroes to be born. Get up here. Art is important to our society and our culture and what we do. And that's the one of the reasons I'm doing it. And that's one of the reasons why it's down um, by USC. And uh, we have 100 high school, or 100 schools, really, within five miles of us. And it originally was designed, as Star Wars was, to inspire young people. I sort of uh, learned with Star Wars that it actually works is that if you give kids an inspiration and you say, use your imagination, don't, there's no limits. You can imagine anything you want. You can imagine yourself as an astronaut. You can imagine yourself as a costume designer. You can imagine yourself anything you want to do, anywhere in the world, even in outer space. That gives them a window into a whole different life. And it does inspire them to move on and think beyond their where they grew up. And it inspires a lot of kids to go and, you know, make something of themselves, do something, contribute to society. It is very gratifying to be honored um, by such a successful institution uh, that I aspire to mimic. It's a great honor and uh, I believe a great deal in art. I believe that the old adage that if it's, if it's popular, it's not art. If it's art, it's not popular. I don't believe that at all. All art is popular art. And it always has been. If it wasn't, what you, if it wasn't, what would you be doing it for? As usual, I'm very excited to come here. It's always an inspiration for all of us. We just, we just saw the, the piece of Mark Bradford. It's quite impressive. I mean, unreal. I saw the picture before, but for the first time I saw, I saw it unreal. It's really, really impressive. And all the time there's something that is really hit me. So, and again, tonight is going to be a moment of um, you know, gathering people together to, to help the, the project. And his mind. You know, Mark Bradford, as I told you, I know him from a long time. He's, he's, he made an amazing and impressive and quick career and becoming one of the best artists in, in, at the moment. And uh, George Lucas, I don't, I don't need to tell anything about him. It's the guy is he's a legend. So, and uh, and uh, we had so many inspirations as well from our advertising campaign recently from Alessandro. So I think it's, um, it's something uh, amazing. I'm looking forward for tonight. So others will speak later about our extraordinary honorees tonight, Mark Bradford and George Lucas, but I just must say a few words of thanks to them. Uh, Mark, you 
are a visionary who has helped make LA one of the artistic centers of the world. You are a friend, a collaborator, a source of inspiration to LACMA for years. You like a decade and many more years ago, we supported this then young artist, Mark Bradford, by acquiring a painting. He needed a painting acquired, so we bought Biggie, Biggie, Biggie for like a few thousand dollars. So we're so happy to have that and to have supported you early, Mark. Um, and if you walk over to the Resnick Pavilion today or when you can, you will see a magnificent artwork, 25 by 25 feet, that Mark made in the last weeks just for us. And it's there and it's amazing. Uh, thank you, Mark. Thank you for your Art and Education Foundation, Art and Practice, which you co-founded two years ago in Lamert Park with Eileen Harris Norton, who's here, and Alan DeCastro, who's here. Well, just to celebrate these two guys and to have fun and to, you know, I'm very happy to be part of the community of the LACMA Museum. I came, I think, like 16 years ago, but I have to say that it was not as it is today. I think the, the transformation of this uh, community and what Michael Govan has done, I think, is extraordinary in a way that I think he has really be, has been very including, including a big diversity of communities that now it's a family-driven you know, every kind of people can come here without any elitism, and I think it's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful social kind of a space where people really can enjoy and have fun seeing art. You know. Oh, you know, uh, we want to celebrate. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Lucas and his universe. So, and Alfonso was home, so I called him. <laughs> My date. I'm his date. But you know, this guy, what he's done is. Is, is the only one that has achieved this to create a full mythology. Is the only one. Uh, Jim Cameron is working on it, doing the second Avatar and so forth, but George already did it, so. The first time I came to LACMA was with my dad, probably, who's here. And we try to go like once a month with my little sister and go and like get a bite, go see the Terrell thing, obsessed. Gucci, duh, it's all Gucci. I love everything about all Gucci. I mean, it's glitter, it's comfortable, it's tight. I'm in love. Like, I'm addicted to the sweatshirts with all the. I mean, gl I'm a glitter whore. So, <laughs> Gucci is my life, basically. And, those earrings. and these earrings, I'm dead. And the wolf rings, like, I'm crying with joy, obviously. Means for art and film. And well, it's impossible to underestimate his contributions to pop culture. And personally, he's just such a nice person and so brilliant and, you know, so instrumental in shaping my career. You know, I can never thank him enough. So that's one of the reasons I decided to give up Saturday night and put on a tuxedo. Uh, we are here to celebrate LACMA. We're here to celebrate Call Me By Your Name. We're here to celebrate Gucci. Uh, you know, art's always been a big part of my life, uh, whether it be at the Hammer or anywhere else. Whenever we travel, we like to go check out museums, and I, I really enjoy it. I love the idea of a museum where they put art in a really accessible way. Yeah, you, anyone can go and interact and have a direct relation to art, and that's great. Uh, well, there's so much to say. I'm, of course, so honored and flattered and humbled to be a part of something so big, and. It's really affirming as an actor and a model and an artist to, um, you know, understand that I maybe inspire someone who inspires me so much, Alessandro. Um, I feel so lucky to be a part of his world. And this is my third LACMA. My first one was just days after meeting him. You know, he sent me a last minute invite after our dinner at the Chateau. Like, who's this girl who's like requesting dresses? So it's come a long way since then. And I feel like LACMA is always this beautiful evening where, you know, not only do we celebrate art and film, but this is where I, you know, where the Gucci family ties are made. So it's, it's good. George Lucas, is one of the George Lucas, I mean, what can you even say about George Lucas? There is a part of me that's like, you know, just so, like my bandwidth for like sci-fi and fantasy and like, you know, that whole genre, like world building, like 
that was something that George Lucas brought into my life. I, like from such a young age, I remember pouring over the you know Star Wars Phantom Menace like like coffee table guidebooks that I would make my mom buy all of Queen Amidala's looks. Like those were formative moments for me, and you know just the whole mythology of his career. I can't think of anyone more worth celebrating if we're celebrating film. And, and Mr. Bradford as well. Yeah, I uh, I have spent time with his work in you know museums all around the world. I, I might have been like 12 or 14 the first time I like encountered a Bradford. Just the intricacy, but like the raw emotion that you get from his work. Um, you know, he's essential to celebrate. So LA, so um, so perfect for tonight. Um, I've lived in LA my whole life. I'm born and raised. Lacma is like an iconic LA place. My grandma used to take me here, so it's really fun to be here now in like a very fancy dress-up environment. <laughs> Do you have a favorite exhibit or a favorite memory? Um, the Japanese art exhibit has always been my favorite, and that's like the most peaceful. I don't know. That was just I remember coming here with like family and being really thrilled and happy. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy that we have the best partner and sponsorship that anyone can ever imagine for seven years and I'm very very honored every year Francois and Salma comes and join us and I like to thank Marco, Robert, Susan and Lila and everyone else and I love to say Michael Govan is greatest museum director we can the board could hope for. I, I am very grateful to see all of you here to support and as Michael said, this, we raised a lot of money tonight. Not a lot of money, but a lot of money this room size could raise. And I am very grateful and happy for that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Leo, for being an amazing co-chair all these years. And um, who else do I have to thank? LACMA staff who makes all this happen. I cannot do this alone. And I have to say, we have incredible people. Mark is a great artist. You all know that. But he is also a very sweet man and a good man. Everybody from Los Angeles to Venice to Paris will tell you that Mark's work is profoundly important. I made a small limited edition um, print and it says, please share. And um, for, 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 the, for the LACMA benefit. And um, I came up with the, they were asking me what did I want to, like what did I want to do? I want to use a print and I want to use one of my paintings. And then I started, I was watching children and I was watching how it's almost children are told by us and their siblings to share. Share your food, share your clothes, share your safety going to school. It's almost, we always instruct children to share. But it seems like something happens as we get older. We don't remind each other as much to share. Or what we remind each other to share is um, all of our frustrations. And what I would propose is that although we're all grown up now, that we share more than that with each other. That we communicate more than just our frustrations. Because when, when children share, it's almost instinctive, but it's, all, it's also instructive. They're also telling us what we can do. So that's where I came up with the please share. So i just like to thank all of you for coming and sharing tonight with Melody, with George, with Alan, myself, and LACMA. Thank you. It is my honor to introduce tonight's legendary performer. This woman is one of a kind. Everything about her is special. Her voice, her lyrics, the harmony of her work, the passion and honesty of her chilling interpretations, even her style is unique. Maybe this is why she has been recognized not only by every respectable music institution, but also by the Academy Awards, by the Academy, I'm sorry, and the Golden Globes. 
but her glow goes beyond, beyond her legendary and iconic career. She has been a light to the world, combating hunger, and in her commitment to the life of women and children affected by AIDS and the HIV virus. Gucci and I have the privilege to work along, alongside her with this fantastic organization called Mothers to Mothers. And in a recent trip that I went with them to South Africa, I witnessed the courage and strength and joy she has brought to so many, many mothers in Africa. She is herself a melody of hope. And in my opinion, sweet dreams are made of this. Please welcome on this stage the one and only Alni Lennox. Sweet dreams are made. 